Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 18, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and uh, this has been a very rocky day for the cryptocurrency market. As you can see, we are down, well, roughly 9% at, this, well, at most at this point, and uh, still the 20 exponential moving average is offering a lot of support in this market. This is starting to look very interesting. It's starting to look uh, the shape of a triangle here, so uh, we'll most likely see a uh, break out from this triangle within the next uh, few days. So we'll probably start it and then we'll go higher. Um, as the 20 exponential is proving to be significant uh, support, it is going to be very interesting to basically see where this is going. Uh, 40,000 uh, seems to be uh, the what is basically preventing this from going higher at this point. If we break 40,000, then we're heading to 45,000 and then probably to 50,000. And then this is going to be uh, even more, um, even more, um, how do you say it, um, overextended in the, in the weekly chart. But this is looking, um, it's kind of looking like what is going to happen here is that we're going to go into this corner and then break to the upside or break to the downside. At this current stage, technical indicators are looking uh, fairly bearish. Uh, MACD has crossed the signal line. The uh, uh, stochastic is flat. The CCI is becoming uh, bearish, and so is the RSI. We are at 59 in the in the RSI. We haven't been this low for a really, really, really long time. So probably one thing that is working against this is basically U.S. dollar index. It is uh, appreciating. It is basically lowering technically everything in the market. Not just Bitcoin, but precious metals and um, and commodities, uh, indices, and so on, and that most likely will be the case for for uh, the next few days until the inaug inauguration on Tuesday. Uh, that is most likely going to uh, continue. If we look at the weekly chart for Bitcoin, we can see that we are still uh, very parabolical. If you look at the Bollinger Band for for this, we're just at the top of the Bollinger Band. And we have a lot of room to the downside. 30,000 um, seems to be the very bottom where we have found major support in the uh, last two weeks. But this is still a market that could fall all the way down to 21,000, 20,000, which is around this area here. And um, I, that would not surprise me if that were the case, that we lost roughly half the value of Bitcoin in a week. That has happened back here in 2017, uh, where it lost in one week half of its value. It is extremely overextended, extremely overbought. Uh, the RSI is still very low to the to uh, what it has been. It was at 95, now it's at 86, but still very, very high. Technical indicators here are slowly turning to the downside. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. CCI is turning around and the MACD is becoming more flat. So expect this to, don't be surprised if this just falls apart. It can, because it can and it has proven to do that in the past. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum and most of the other um, cryptocurrency have outperformed Bitcoin, uh, basically today and also the, the last few, few days. So that could be an indication that people are seeing the really extremely high price of Bitcoin and also the very extreme overextension and then thinking, okay, we probably could uh, invest in some of the other cryptocurrency instead of Bitcoin or leaving it until it falls uh, uh, significantly and then turning back to it. Uh, so Ethereum has outperformed Bitcoin. It has not fallen as aggressively today as uh, Bitcoin has, and it also has rallied significantly more than Bitcoin has. The 20 exponential is also the floor in this uh, in this market. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are not as bearish as uh, they are for Bitcoin. 
we are in, for example, the RSI is higher here than the Zip of Bitcoin, but this is still a market that is very, very overextended. If you look at a weekly chart, we are way uh, above the way above the top of the Bullish band, and I would not be surprised if this also fell half, lost half of its value in the next few weeks. That could happen. It has also happened in the past, and that would mean that we'll drop around to 700, 600, probably also 500 before finding major support. If this goes to the downside, people start uh, shorting this, then this will tumble like a rock. But at this point, it is just, it is, um, if you look at a weekly chart, it is way, way, way overextended. If you look at the daily chart, if you want to buy into this, then a pullback towards the uh, 20 uh, simple moving average here at the, at the Bullinger Band or 20 exponential here, the yellow line, and that is roughly at 1,000. There is where you find support and uh, it will most likely rally from. So let's look at XRP. So nothing really happened here. We broke down towards the 20 moving average in the middle of the Bollinger Band that we're stuck between the 200 moving average and the 20, uh, uh, 20 uh, moving average. So technical indicators here are showing that this is basically going, uh, it is becoming bearish. So it is going into the downside. If you break 20 moving average, then we are open, that opens the door to these previous lows. That is roughly 0 0.21. And then towards uh, these very lows at 0 0.18. Yes, so uh, before we break, we need to basically break the 200 and the 20 exponential in order to go to the 50. Um, and uh, at this point, it doesn't look like that we're going to see that happening anytime soon. So let's look at Litcoin. So we have broken uh, down towards uh, 129 and then rallied and we're trading just underneath the 20 exponential moving average at this point. Um, I think that we are going to go lower. Uh, 50 moving average will most likely be the target here. So that's 111. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all turning around. Uh, MACD is bearish, RSI, Stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish and the RSI is also bearish at this point. So. A turnaround here towards the 50 moving average, that, that is basically your buying opportunity. There should be a lot of uh, support down here. And you can have a target uh, stop loss underneath and then target of these previous highs. And that is a fairly good trade. So I wouldn't be surprised if this falls. If we rally from here, then we uh, will find, yes, we need basically to break the 20 exponential and the 20 here in order to go, go higher. So let's look at NEO. So as you can see, it has also outperformed um, uh, outperformed Bitcoin. We are basically positive here today. We went all the way, rallied all the way up to 25.12, ran into major support here, resistant here at the, 20, the uh, top of the Bollinger Band. And at this point, I think that we are going to see this turn around towards the 20 moving, exponential moving average, roughly $20, where we'll see a lot of buyers coming in. So... We can see that we also had these previous highs here, and that is also the reason why we also broke down at the level. If we break this uh, this level here at 25, uh, 22, then we are most likely going to go significantly higher. But a pullback towards the 20, that would make sense, and uh, you'll uh, probably see a lot of buyers come in there. So this was all the way up to it. It was even higher than this. We need to go the weekly in order to see the very highs. So to start it off, back in 2018 all the way up in 144 dollars for neo so buying it here and just holding it and hoping hoping that it will go back to these uh, previous highs that is an enormous amount of uh, of uh, enormous gain and um, considering that the uh, cryptocurrency are just going to become more popular and more popular there are probably going to be a handful of cryptocurrencies that are going to survive in the long run. And uh, picking the winners is, uh, is going to be a gamble, to be very honest. But uh, yes, we'll see. Pull back towards the 20. That is basically your buying uh, opportunity. It's not in the daily chart, sorry. So pull back here towards the 20. That's roughly $20. That is probably where buyers will come in and then target these previous highs. So... 
Hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell, and see your newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Otherwise, good luck and good weekend. Thank you.